Welcome to our channel. In the last session, we discussed how to calculate first for the given grammar. Now, in this session, we will move to how to calculate follow for the given grammar. So, the rules for calculating the follow are the first the rule is any given grammar we have some starting symbol. Assume if S is the start symbol. If S is the star symbol in the given grammar, then follow of S is equal to dollar. Not only dollar, along with some terminals are also possible depending upon the rules, but the start symbol must and should contain dollar in their follow. Okay? Now, second rule is if a production is of the form A tends to some alpha, B assume some beta. If a production is of the form A tends to alpha, B beta. Suppose if you are calculating follow of B. You understand the terms first. First in the sense for that non-terminal. What is the first terminal that appears in the right hand side production? Follow of a non terminal is simply the terminal that follows this particular non terminal. Assume here beta is a non terminal. Beta is a non terminal. For example, like this A tends to alpha B some, some D capital D. Now what is the thing? Follow of B is equal to simply first of D. That is first of D contains the terminal. So beta is replaced with the terminal. So first of beta and the condition. Remember the most important condition is follow does not contains epsilon. Follow does not contain epsilon. Suppose the productions of D are some A comma B. Now, what is the follow of B? B, the D is replaced with either A or B. So, obviously, the follow of B is equal to A comma B. Got it? If it is a terminal, directly we are writing the terminal. If it is a non terminal, the non terminal is replaced with their production. Suppose, here what is the condition? The first of D does not contain epsilon. Does not contain epsilon. For example, if it contains epsilon, what you are doing? Go to that one. For example, if your production is of the form, say, alpha, B, beta, then Follow of B is equal to first of beta, first of beta, for example, beta contains, assume the productions of beta are A, B, epsilon, okay? If beta is replaced with A, then what is the follow of B? A. If beta is replaced with B, so, what is the follow of the small b? For example, understand if beta is replaced with epsilon. Now, what is the production? A tends to alpha b. After b, nothing is present. Okay. So, before going to this one, I will explain one more property. If you have a production of the form A tends to alpha b. If you have a production of the form a tends to alpha b, that is after b, no symbol is present. After b, no symbol is present. Simply follow of b is equal to follow of a. Follow of b is equal to, if no symbol is present, follow of b is equal to the left hand side symbol follow of a. This is the one property. Based on this one, if no symbol is present, 
So, fall of B is equal to first of A. Sorry, fall of A. So, for all the terminals, we are writing the first of B. Whenever epsilon occurs, epsilon is replaced, then fall of B is equal to fall of A. So, union fall of A. When if, if first of beta belongs an epsilon, that is first of beta contains an epsilon, these are the four rules to calculate fall of. Okay. So, simple rules are, if it is a star symbol, the star symbol must change code contains a dollar. Now, if you want to calculate follow for a non-terminal, the simple approach is, identify the non-terminal in the given grammar, in the right hand side. Identify the non-terminal in the RHS of the given grammar. Whenever the non-terminal appears, simply check the next symbol, check the next symbol. If the next symbol is a terminal, simply that is the answer. Assume if the next symbol is a non-terminal, then simple procedure is calculate the first of the non-terminal. If the first of the non-terminal does not contain epsilon, simply that is the answer. Suppose if the first of the non-terminal contains epsilon, then the answer is the first of the non-terminal along with the follow of the left side variable in that production. Okay. Now we will move with an example. So consider the same example what we had discussed for calculation of first. Okay. By using same example, we will discuss the follow also. E tends to T e dash, E dash tends to plus T dash epsilon, T tends to F T dash, T dash tends to star F T dash epsilon, F tends to E I D. Assume this is the given grammar. For this grammar, we already calculated first value. Suppose again I am calculating first y. If you want to calculate follow compulsory you need first value. So first of e you already know the procedure. First of e t t to f f to left to parenthesis id first of e dash plus epsilon first of t left to parenthesis id first of t dash star epsilon and finally first of f so this is completed already the calculation of first is completed already now step by step calculate follow step by step calculate follow follow of e Follow of E dash. Follow of T. For all the non-terminals given in the grammar, you have to calculate follow, right? Follow of F. No. Follow of E. So, by default, E is the star symbol. In the given grammar, E is the first symbol. That is the star symbol. By default, E contains dollar. Along with what is the rule in the given grammar where E appears? Observe the grammar here. E appears at this position. Now immediately check the next symbol. After E, what is the next symbol? A terminal. Simply if it is a terminal, that terminal is present. Now where other E appears? No. E appears only at one place. So simply close. So, this is the follow of E. Now, follow of E dash, the same logic, where E dash appears, E dash appears at this position. After E dash, no symbol is present, follow of E dash. So, if this is of the form, A tends to alpha B, A tends to alpha B. In this case, after B, no symbol is present. So, then what is the follow of B? Simply, it is follow of A. 
So follow of e dash is simply follow of e. So I already calculated follow of e simply dollar and then no. And another place is e dash appears. So e dash appears at this position. But the left hand side is also e dash. So no need to calculate. So if both are same, nothing is happened. Now follow of t. Follow of t. Where t appears? t appears at this position. At this position. Now understand carefully. So some thought rule. Calculate first of e dash. Calculate first of e dash. So first of e dash contains plus and epsilon. So my production is like this. E tends to T E dash. For example, if E dash is replaced with plus T plus, right? Now what is the follow of T? Follow of T contains plus comma. Suppose if E dash is replaced with epsilon. Epsilon in the sense there is no symbol. That is, this is the production. After t, no symbol is present. If no symbol is present, so follow of t is equal to automatically union of first of e, follow of e. What is the follow of e? Dollar and then right transis. You got it? Now, where other t appears? C appears at this position. But again, after t, again we have e dash. Already we are calculated for e dash. So no need to calculate once again. Now follow of t dash is equal to this place. After t dash, no symbol is present. Obviously, what is follow of t dash? Follow of t dash is equal to follow of t. If you understand the rules carefully, then it is very, very easy to calculate follow. Now finally, follow of f is equal to. So where f, f appears in this position. Follow of f is equal to first of t dash. So first of t dash contains star comma epsilon. So first we will write the star. If was if t dash is replaced with epsilon, if t dash is replaced with epsilon, then there is no symbol. After f, there is no symbol. If there is no symbol in the sense, follow of t dash plus dollar and closed parenthesis. This is the way to calculate first follow for the given grammar. Okay. Simply follow the rules according the rules is very easy to implement.